Hey everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey. Uh, while working on another tutorial video for this basic platformer game engine, I discovered a bug. And what's supposed to happen is when you are in the slot select, for any reason, if you're creating a new game, for example, if you uh, chose to start a new game, uh, or if you chose to load but then picked an empty slot and it'll ask you, do you want to uh, create a new save, it's going to ask you to type in a name for that slot and that guarantees you're playing a new game and the first time you play a new game it shouldn't just go to the first playable level, it should bring you to level or what's called layout zero which is the intro cinematic. So if you don't want it to ever show any kind of like cinematic intro screen then you can actually choose to not fix this bug if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to fix it and I'm going to show you how. Go into the slot select, press Control E to go into the events, or down here choose uh, the slot select events. But like I said, I'm just going to from here choose Control, press Control E. That brings me right to the events. And you can see I used uh, the search bar and I typed where to with no space, capital W, capital T. And when I press enter, it narrowed it down. And what I'm looking for starts right now. Eventually, I might someday add other events. So it might not be this exact number. But right now, we're looking at uh, event number 35. And what's really important is you're looking for someone, a player, to uh, tell the game that it's done entering the new name. So in this case, we have keyboard pressed, but uh, return pressed on the keyboard. But here we also have the done button is pressed, which is the same thing. So we're going to be editing both lines 35 and uh, 35 and 39. And the important thing is right here where it says uh, set where to level select. It should not be going to level select. It should be going right to the intro to level zero, uh, which is again the uh, the intro cinematic. So just double click this and change this to zero. Make sure it's zero and not the character capital O. And same exact thing here in line 39. And then I will test this to make sure that fixes the bug. So now I'm just going back to the first layout called loading and then running the game maximize the screen and now if I choose new game whether I choose an empty slot or one that already has something it's going to ask me to name it we'll call this game one now when I'm done it should go there we go to the intro cinematic and then when I click play it's going to go to the first level that is correct now I can press escape to go back to the menu and so let's try continue and now if I pick the same thing it should bring me to the level editor that is all correct so it looks like that fixes the bug so if you want to fix that bug yourself that's the way to do it I will be updating uh, the actual downloadable zip file for the platformer engine with this fix in it. So if you've not done any work yet, that's the easy way. And in the future, if there are any more complicated bug fixes that need to happen, then I will actually show you another way where you can actually download and import the specific event sheets into your project to replace the event sheet that has a bug with one that has a bug fixed which is pretty painless, but a little more complicated than I want to go into for such an easy bug fix. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, my apologies for the bug, but uh, I hope this resolves the issue for anyone. And that's it. Thanks for watching.